I trade spot and futures on BYDFi and if you want to set up an account now, send me a message once you've created your account with your username and UID on Telegram and I'll put you into a randomly selected prize draw. I've got 10, 20 and $50 gift cards to give out which basically go against your trading fees, giving you free trading fees basically until the gift cards run out. BYDFi. Hello everybody, welcome back uh, to the video. Let's get started. It's much the same as yesterday, so if you watch that, I suppose there's not much to, else to talk about. But there was one thing I thought I'd show you, which I didn't talk about yesterday. So this is the Bitcoin dominance chart on a monthly. Now, I normally have a 50 exponential moving average being this big fat green one, but I've moved it to a 60, right? Because uh, I recognize that there was a, a major rejection taking place here on the monthly. Um, and it had also, uh, you know, been effectively the top of a Bollinger Band as well. It wasn't just that. There was a horizontal here, which was pretty significant, uh, where we more or less got rejected from. So it wasn't, it wasn't a Bollinger Band uh, potentially. It wasn't, wasn't the uh, 60 exponential, which is what I've changed it to here. Um, it was also a, a horizontal area of major significance, really up quite high, 72 to 73 percent dominance. However. We all need a bit of hopium, don't we, sometimes? And so I've moved that 50, I've changed it to a 60. Uh, we recognise that there is some sort of similar environment taking place here. So Bollinger Band top, 60 exponential moving average on the monthly. Um, and so we're, what we've got here is a 60 exponential on the monthly and the top of the Bollinger Band. It still gives us plenty of wiggle room to move higher. However, a rejection, you know, yesterday we saw a rejection was... was was relatively steep. We'll put it on a four hour to see that. So there was something taking place over here um, on the um, on the dominance chart. There was some run taking place and it was mostly because uh, Ethereum was having a little bit of a move on its own. So <clears throat> maybe this whole season is happening. Maybe it's not. What we can say is that there is definitely some movement in altcoins and it has affected the dominance chart so far. Is it a uh, is it a, is it a, like a major reaction? Is it is it a rotation? Uh, is it just the, you know the the market taking turns, which is often the case? Uh, is it something to be massively excited over, or or are we just trying to fool ourselves into thinking that there's more? I think we should take on board all of those things, to be honest with you, because it's 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 relatively unclear exactly um, what's going on right now, but. I still think that Bitcoin has got a little further to move up, uh, even though it is you know, potentially uh, like overbought. Really, it's, it's it, I still, it doesn't look to me on the shorter term time frames. I would say, which are the more important, that it's finished. This box here is still to be bought up. The um, moving averages, being the 50 exponential, has, has now moved into that. 10 exponential is also moved into that. So it adds more weight to this area uh, if and when we pull into it. So bottom area is 41,250. Top area is about 42,300. So <coughs> $1,000 range. <coughs> Excuse me. $1,000 range um, where we'll be looking to get picked back up on and move on to the next well, the next attempt to uh, to make a, a local high. At the moment, this is the third day in, in a row, which is red. It's no big deal. It's perfectly normal. As I was saying yesterday, it's like an exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. There will be a point where we just can't take it anymore and we basically deflate. Uh, but uh, I'm not so sure if this is the time where we're doing that, really. Uh, no bearish divergence on this uh, current run on the daily. And if we take it to the four hourly, um, there wasn't, yeah, there was one drive, actually, one single drive on the four hourly. So I still think we get picked up and move on forward. So with that, the way that that is, uh, let's have a look at Ethereum, uh, which actually is looking better. Uh, Ethereum on the four day, pretty good. Bit of bearish divergence, I have to say, though. Uh, daily, still quite good. Um, in, an, in, a, in a lot of ways, better than Bitcoin, because yesterday was a big green day, hence the dominance chart coming down. Uh, and made a new local high, which is great. So, you know, this is not, as, as far as I can tell, and, and everybody's expectations on crypto is always, for the most part, overinflated. Everybody expects it to just go massively up. Why, where's my 10x? I deserve my 10x. Uh, people will get their 10x's, I'm sure, over time, but I don't think this is 10x season now. Uh, I mean, for the most, <laughs> let's face it, some of these coins have already done 10x, 20x even. Um, so yeah, it's. It, I mean, that's kind of you know, for lot, for a lot of people. Well, so for the lucky ones, that has been had. So this is why we call it an alt season 2.0 because the first alt season was a couple of months ago, really, when that began. 
uh, maybe a little more than that. And now what we're looking for, hopefully, is an alt season 2.0, uh, which I'm sure you're all bored of me talking about. So let's have a look at the total market cap, uh, excluding Bitcoin. Uh, one, two drives, bearish divergence on the way up on the four hourly. Fine. Um, one drive cancelled out now, uh, bearish divergence on the daily, but the money flow index is relatively hot here on an 85, uh, which you know, does sort of want to pull back, I would say. If it were to pull back to the major area of support, which previously was a huge resistance. It's also a 21 and a 20 moving average around that area too. So that would be a dip buy based on this chart. Specifically, uh, you know, would would not be an opportunity to be missed, I would say. Um, uh, if you're in altcoins from, you know, way back, uh, then you should still be okay you know, to expect further highs. But the same old, same old has happens, uh, which is basically we have got that overinflated money flow index on the on the weekly. So there's no much point in me taking up too much of your time about this uh, because it is much the same as it has been for a while now. We are approaching what I would consider a considerable peak on Bitcoin, uh, and uh, altcoins may continue up with with that dominance rejection or with the total two um you know maybe we see an alt season in the face of a bitcoin consolidation or just a bit of static um sideways action from bitcoin we might see that but we can't guarantee it right so i've got to go now because if you can hear i've got a three-year-old in the background making all kinds of requests and um, but if you want to join the patreon live stream there is a link in the description of the video and uh, we'll be looking at many many charts tonight um, obviously you get to ask me what you want to see and so maybe i'll see you there otherwise i hope you have a nice day and take it easy